Since Brexit, Gibraltarians and other British citizens on the rock have been treated as third-party nationals when crossing this border behind me into Spain. And as a result of a temporary informal bridging measure, red ID card holders have been treated more favourably. Once you've agreed all, not just of the general political lines which we've agreed, but all of the detail of what's then going to be recorded in the treaty, you would see very quickly the process of implementation starting. But could we have the agreement by November, do you think? Yes, we could. That is possible. Uh, whether it's probable or not it is a question of how long is a piece of string, but you could have the agreement even if you don't have the treaty. Now, as from November, all Schengen countries, including Spain, expect to introduce a new entry-exit system. It's an automated IT system which will register travellers entering and leaving the Schengen area. Gibraltarians and other British citizens will therefore have to uh, use this new system to scan their passports, provide biometric data at an automated self-service kiosk prior to crossing the border. You may have seen something similar at London airports. Now, this new IT system would keep an electronic record of the traveller's name, biometric data, and the dates and places of entry and exit. It would effectively replace the current practice of manually stamping passports and manually calculating the time spent in the Schengen area to make sure that we haven't spent more than 90 days in any 180-day period. But we also need to be ready in the event that we don't have an agreement to be able to reciprocate the treatment that might be meted out to Gibraltar residents as they seek to enter Spain when European citizens seek to enter Gibraltar. So when this new system launches, which could be November, you should only need to provide biometric data once uh, because it will be uh, kept on the system. But it does mean for the initial period when everybody is registering, we will see longer delays here at the crossing into Spain. After that, it depends on whether or not the Spanish authorities introduce facial recognition infrastructure. If they do, things should move more quickly. If they don't, this could result in further delays. Experience at the frontier is going to change us from November. Hopefully for the better, but potentially for the worse. If we are able to do the agreement, we may not see those negative consequences. If we are not, then we will see those negative consequences because we are not going to give in on the things that matter to us in the context of that negotiation. What happens if you're driving into Spain rather than walking? Well, the new entry exit system is supposed to be able to detect up to four faces, four passengers per vehicle. Again, what if there are more than four people in the car or if the facial recognition technology isn't put in place? Well, the answer is we don't know what would happen in that scenario. It seems inevitable that these changes, which are set to be introduced in November, will bring further uncertainty to this frontier, something that it's seen a lot of in recent months. That's the new entry-exit system, just to complicate things further. Schengen countries are also introducing a new European travel information and authorization system. That's expected to become operational in mid-2025, so in the summer next year. Probably best we explain it in detail in the coming months, but it would effectively be a pre-authorization system, which would see you uh, register basically once every three years. Just for that extra bit of spice, I should say that it's possible that both of these new systems could be delayed. The introduction of them could be delayed further. The government says it will provide further information as soon as it is confirmed by the Schengen countries, including Spain, that uh, they are launching on a particular date. And finally, if you found any of this confusing, then in the event that a future relationship treaty is agreed with the EU, then it is expected that people in Gibraltar will be exempt from these two new Schengen systems, the entry-exit system and the pre-authorization system, 
once that agreement enters into force.